Please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the aircraft is parked at the gate and the fastened seatbelt sign has been turned off. Yo ho ho, a pirate's life for me. Let's explore the swashbuckling city. Here we go! As the sun rises over the Hillsboro Bay, another day of growth begins in Tampa. At the same time the 49ers were searching for gold in California, the U.S. Army outpost of Fort Brooke became Tampa. Now 171 years later, the growth of the southeastern city is in overdrive. Tampa today is a city of palm trees and cranes. Not that crane but these cranes. It seems, wherever you look in downtown, there are multiple cranes. As this city prepares to host its fourth Super Bowl, it is experiencing a mega transformation of downtown. The Tampa Bay I-4 corridor region is the fastest growing part of Florida. What makes Tampa Bay so attractive? Housing is affordable. The employment base is growing no state income tax, and world-class entertainment venues, museums, and water scenery. We will take you on a ride along Bayshore Boulevard in the colorful Riverwalk. There is never a shortage of things to do here. We will also give you an update of some of Tampa's major redevelopment projects, like Water Street, Midtown, Tampa Heights, and the Waterworks area, as well as show you some of the new condos and towers being built. Tampa where a mystical Spanish pirate once sailed the seas. Gasparilla, a yearly celebration to honor his name since 1904, when pirates invade the city in late January in demand for the mayor to hand over the key to the city. Today, a new pirate coming to town. So come with us as we explore Tampa. While we see the future taking form in Tampa, we can also see the past. The building, now home of the University of Tampa, opened in 1891 as the Tampa Bay Hotel, built by developer Henry Plant. It was at the end of his rail line, the old Tampa City Hall on Kennedy Boulevard and Florida Avenue, built in 1915, once dominated the skyline of Tampa. Not so today. Across the street from the old city hall, the new Hyatt Place Hyatt House is being built by DPR Construction. It will be 17 stories. The Hyatt Place will have 230 rooms and the Hyatt House 115 rooms, expected to open late 2020. The Le Meridian Hotel was a federal courthouse built in 1905, now a unique 130-room hotel. Across the street, built in the same year, is the Sacred Heart Catholic Church, one of Tampa's most popular locations for weddings. The Tampa Theater opened in 1926 and still hosts 600 events each year. We start about five miles upstream the Hillsborough River from downtown. This river flows 60 miles through Pasco, Polk, and Hillsborough counties through downtown Tampa. Bricks on the River, about a mile north of downtown, is a popular riverfront pub with raw oysters and live music daily. The Tampa Heights Redevelopment Project has breathed new life into this neighborhood, once worn down by decay, drugs, and crime, and has turned it into a premier waterfront community. It is anchored by the Armature Works building, once a storage facility for the streetcars, now a trendy public market outdoor recreation, innovative eateries. It has a variety of event spaces popular for weddings. Next to the Armature Works is the Waterworks Park. Over the next eight to 10 years, 
The Heights will grow into an urban village spreading 50 acres with offices, retail, and residential unit. The Heights Union will be a luxury office complex set to open later this year. The Tampa River Walk is a 2.6 mile pedestrian trail which begins at Waterworks Park and runs along the Hillsborough River to the Convention Center, then runs along the Garrison Channel and ends near Amelie Arena. The Riverwalk takes you by the Straz Center for Performing Arts, the Museum of Art, the Glacier Children's Museum, Curtis Ixon Park, the USF Park, Historical Bridges, the Convention Center and Sailport Pavilion, Marriott Water Street, and the Tampa Bay History Center. At the Convention Center Sailport area, you can also take a variety of sightseeing cruises. Rent paddle boards, kayaks, or pedal boats. There are links in the description below. You can also purchase your tickets for the Pirate Water Taxi, which has 17 stops to get off and on all along the waterfront areas of downtown. While the river walk is great during the day, it is absolutely stunning at night. On the west side of the river near the Cass Street Bridge is the brand new Tampa River Center at Julian B. Lane Riverfront Park. This is a premier event space perfect for weddings with floor to ceiling glass windows and a covered terrace that provides a breathtaking view of the river walk in downtown Tampa. For more info, see thetampariverwalk.com. While Tampa Bay is known for its beaches, it is the places away from the beaches that is making Tampa more conducive to an active lifestyle. Bayshore Boulevard is a scenic drive and linear park with benches, exercise equipment, water fountain, and decorative art in the median. Bayshore Boulevard runs 4.5 miles from near Ballast Point to downtown Tampa and ends at the Riverwalk. Its sidewalk is the second longest continuous sidewalk in the world at 4 miles long and 10 feet wide, which makes it popular for recreational exercise. Be advised if driving, speed limit is strictly enforced. The Tampa Water Street Project, a 16-block mega development, is a joint venture between Tampa Bay Lightning owner Jeff Vinnick and Cascade Investments run by Microsoft founder Bill Gates. Through this, Tampa is reinventing itself as a downtown that is very walkable and pedestrian friendly. While the final completion won't be till 2027, we are going to see the first round of buildings open by the time of Super Bowl 55 next year. The four-star JW Marriott, across the street from the remodeled Marriott Water Street, will have 26 floors, 30,000 square feet of ballroom space, and 519 rooms. It will have the region's tallest rooftop bar. The atrium will be an impressive four-story transparent living room that faces Water Street. Would you like to live on Water Street? Well, you can do that this year. Check out 815 Water Street, a dual tower apartment building across from Emily Arena. The two towers will be 26 and 21 stories high with 420 apartments with sweeping views of the Tampa skyline and the bay. While construction won't be completed until 2021, the first residences will open this year. The new Tampa Edition will be the city's first five-star hotel and focal point of Water Street. It will be 27 stories, located at corner of Channelside Drive and Water Street, across from Amelie Arena. It will have a rooftop pool with adjacent bar and restaurant, 37 private homes, which will be situated above the hotel's 172 rooms. The homeowners will have their private entrance separate from the hotel. 
Residential owners are expected to move in in 2021. Next to the addition is 1001 Water Street, a 20-story tower. This tower will have a rooftop terrace, as well as exterior terraces providing an indoor-outdoor work environment for tenants. Also includes a plaza that connects the tower to the adjacent University of South Florida Marsani College of Medicine. Channel side begins at Water Street and goes through the cruise port of Tampa towards the Selman Expressway between South Meridian Avenue and Channel Side Drive. This is one of the fastest growing areas of Tampa with high-rise condos as people make the shift of moving into the downtown area. Sparkman Wharf is a modern waterfront area featuring hip restaurants, shops, a beer garden, and street food stands. It is here where you can board a yacht starship dinner cruise, a great way to see Tampa from the water. The Florida Aquarium, where you can swim with many of the sea life native to Florida, including hundreds of reef fishes, sea turtles, sharks, sea stingrays, what Tampa Bay's baseball team is named after. It also provides a great atmosphere to get married in, in its coral reef ballroom. You know, an area has everything you need when a Starbucks is now located here, as well as a Publix. The towers at Channel Side was the first and tallest condos, but now are joined by several residential options in this growing neighborhood. We now move away from downtown, a little closer to Raymond James Stadium, home of Super Bowl 55, to be played on February 7th, 2021, where a quarterback will win his seventh Super Bowl ring. Coinciding with the Super Bowl will be the opening of another of Tampa's hottest urban communities, Midtown. Just down the road from the stadium near I-275, it will have a recreational trail around a three-acre lake called Watercourse, as well as shopping and entertainment. The first major venue to open will be the Whole Foods. It will also have a true food kitchen, Burton's Grill and Bar, a dual-branded hotel, The Aloft and Element by Weston. To support Tampa's active lifestyle, it will feature a REI co-op. See MidtownTampa.com for more info. You may be wondering about Riverwalk Place Tower, supposed to be the tallest and most impressive new skyscraper. Well, the original developer, Feldman Equities, has pulled out, and two roads, a West Palm Beach-based developer, will proceed. The old Cap Trust building has been demolished, so the ground is cleared and ready for construction. Don't have anything further to report at this time, but hopefully it will be constructed soon. While the growth is great for the economy of Tampa, there can also be some negative effects that come with it traffic. You will hear many in Tampa complain about the traffic, but as someone who has shot in most of the metro areas of the U.S., it is not too bad. Yet. Have you driven in L.A. or Miami lately? Granted, Tampa is not the size of those cities, but Tampa does not have a light rail system either. That could be a problem. However, even if one were to be built, would people ride it? For now, Tampa has done a reasonably good job with its road system. I know I'm going to get criticized for saying that. The locals are never happy with the roads. One of those improvements is the Selman Connection over Gandhi Boulevard that will provide uninterrupted travel from the Selman Expressway across Gandhi Bridge to St. Petersburg. This project is scheduled to be completed in mid-2021. As Tampa looks to the future, it will have to deal with the challenge of a fastly growing community. There will certainly be growing pains. However, for business and the economy, it is a very good thing. Only time will tell. I would be interested to hear your thoughts, what you think about Tampa. As for me, having done videos all across the nation, I am thankful that my home is in the city by the bay. After growing up in that other city by the bay, the weather, although brutally hot for five months in the summer, is like paradise for five months in the winter. It is always a great place to come back to and to fly into. We are Tampa Aerial Media. 
If you would like us to shoot your city, venue, or location, or if you would like stock footage of this video, contact us at info at tampaareomedia.com. Coming up next in the coming months will be Orlando, Fort Myers, and Jacksonville. Subscribe to our channel to see these and other videos. Thank you for watching Tampa 2020, City of Palm Trees and Cranes.